Roosevelt collection shops and lofts and you can see it right here this is the entrance and guys you can hear the wind Chicago is called the windy city guys and it's so windy after we arrived we noticed that instantly so we're just walking to Target right now guys gotta grab some stuff and then we're gonna head to a uh, riverboat tour so look out for that I got Dorothy with me as usual we are out ya in Chicago. We've got Target coming up on the left here. through downtown Chicago guys you'll see that Lyft actually has bikes and they're called Divi and uh, you can rent these bikes up to 30 minutes at a time that's for the single trip and then there's unlimited three hour rides if you purchase the day pass keep that in mind guys if you do visit Chicago but Chicago is a walkable city the downtown core you can just walk around it and explore check that out if you do come to Chicago guys <music> We're coming through Chicago Theater District right now. You can see the infrastructure here for the L subway or Chicago Transit. And we're heading down to see the famous Chicago Theater right now, guys. It's pretty popular. Um, there's actually another theater down there too. entrance to the Chicago Transit Authority, the subway or the metro, whatever you want to call it. Chicagoans call it the L and you can take this all around the city guys. It's actually recommended that you take it all around the city just because the traffic here in Chicago is New York level. So I do recommend you if you do visit here, take the Chicago Transit guys. It's three dollars for uh, all day pass. And fun fact guys, a lot of the Dark Knight scenes from the movie The Dark Knight with Bruce Wayne, Batman, was scenes were shot in Chicago. Here's one of the theaters guys. This one's called the Cadillac Palace. And theaters are, or shows are a popular thing here.
check it out guys here's another one of the uh, famous Chicago theaters the Nederlander and this is what it looks like guys right at the same building as the Cambria hotels here we have the Nederlander theater <laughs> Guys, on the other side of the road here, you can see the famous Chicago Theater. Guys, check out the architecture on this Intercontinental Hotel here and that building beside it. Wow, the architecture in the city is absolutely crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. It reminds me of New York. So we're heading towards Millennium Park right now. We're gonna show you what that looks like. Apparently guys, they have a famous Chicago bean. So it's basically just a, a giant bean, guys. So yeah, we'll show you what's up with that. And we'll show you Navy Pier, popular tourist attraction here in Chicago. So stay with us guys, and we'll show you what's up. So we're looking down Michigan Avenue right now. And look at the Chicago buildings here. Just a ton of impressive architecture. Absolutely recommend coming to visit Chicago, guys. You need at least four or five days to check it all out. And even then, that might not be enough. And keep in mind, guys, Chicago is not cheap. It's high-end and it's expensive. This here is the Wrigley Building, guys. That company that makes bubble gum. guys I believe is the Chicago River and this is the Michigan Avenue bridge and Chicago has a lot of bridges guys 36 in total I believe 36 movable bridges so the bridges actually open so that ships can get through believe it or not I'll show you guys the Chicago River here and this is the Michigan Avenue bridge and look at the architecture of the bridge house and every bridge has a different type of architecture on its bridge house you can see the trump building here in the distance and there's a lot of uh, boat tours in chicago because the river runs right through the city i might have already showed you the uh, boat tour we took if you haven't seen it guys i'm gonna leave the link in the description and you can check it out that building here guys is the chicago tribune building So this here is the bridge guys and as I said it's movable as you can see it actually lifts here's a boat coming through guys just to the left of this boat you could see the Chicago River walk so it's basically a multi-use pathway that goes along the Chicago River for quite a few miles and we're gonna check that out as well and, and show you guys so we've got two Chicago First Lady boats going by here. So I do recommend the Chicago boat tour, the architecture tour like this because it's much better than the big bus tour through the city. It gives you a intricate view of the city and the buildings guys as compared to the big bus tours where you can hop on and hop off. And the bus tours tend to be more expensive than the uh, boat tours because there's so many boats. Right? So there's a lot of competition so keep that in mind as well. This is 
is what the front of the Trump Hotel and Tower looks like. All right, guys, that's it for our exploration of Chicago. Chicago is an amazing city. I definitely recommend coming here, visiting, checking out the city, checking out the river walk, checking out the river tours on the boats, even the, the bus tours, guys. The city has a lot of history and architecture. Definitely check that out, guys, if you do come here. It is an expensive city. Parking is expensive. Hotels are expensive, but it is worth it in my opinion thank you for watching please leave us a like or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and we'll see you in the next video take care guys